welcome to Blue Brick 33. Today I'll be reviewing the LEGO Ideas Grand Piano. Now this set is 18 plus and costs $350. It has 3,662 pieces. Now it, this thing is very big and I will take a look at the bench after I show you the piano and it's very big it's pretty elegant and I'm going to show you the um, just the sides right now now this is a power up function motor where that means it comes with motors and there's an app to make this all work to make the piano keys actually play and stuff when well, I'll show you the piano keys very soon and um, this is just a way for you to turn on the motor. There's the button without you just seeing the motor. So it's hidden away and it's easy to just remove this panel. Now the back is um, well shaped for the piano. You know, the lid fits perfectly really around it. And there's not too much to be seen around there. Now the one thing I do wish that we changed was it doesn't really probably show on the camera, but right here, they use these pieces that have holes in it. And I wish they just made a new piece that didn't have the hole in it, because it's just a smidge awkward on the side. There's only a few pieces there. Now to see the um, keys, you can just lift the, the key lid. And all the keys function, all 25, even the black keys. So all of them do. And right there, it just says Lego in the very middle. And there's the pedals. One works. The other two are just for show, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Well, I'm just going to show you. There's this function that there's two Technic pegs that, you, pegs that you can have to come out, where I just take one out, and now I'm just going to take the other, and that allows for this to be able to come out. And um, I did forget to say that it, these red pieces do make it look like in a real piano, it has like the felt. So you just take that out, and that allows you to be able to take the keys out. Now, one piece did fall out, and I'm going to show you how it works. But um, I'm just going to put that piece back in right now. And I do not see where it actually goes. So I don't know how that actually fell out. The, it's actually a gray ice cream cone where the key, it just goes on here and when you hit it, it will hit the hammer and in a little bit, I'm going to show you the top where it ha does the hammer and like the end of the key do work in this whole system. But when you just hit this, this is how it works. And you put it on this little gray ice cream cone. And just put it on. And it's not used as a gray ice cream cone, though. It's just nice heart usage. And you're able to now take a look at all the keys. And this is where the thing came from. from right at the end here so I'm just gonna put that one back okay so now it does have the technical system and all the hammers will come up when you play out the keys and the black ones have the hammers too and once you take this off the, the rod on it you can just take that off, and that allows 
for you to be able to take these segments of the keys off and you build them and place it like that. Now, before I show you top and stuff, I am going to turn the motor on and just show you how the mechanism works. I'm just going to flip this open and show you this part first. Now, um, when you open this, it makes a spot for you to be able to put the little stand for your sheet of music. And when you push it up and then push it down, it's locked in place. And that's because of these Technic pieces. And it does come with a small little sheet of music. And the song on it is Play Day by Donnie Chen, the fan designer, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, and now you are able to push this up. And just put the hole here, and I will show you um, the top in a little bit. And now the one thing that I still want to show you before I turn the motor on is the working pedal. Where when you turn it, um, these thing, this part in the working thing all goes up like the real bamboo pedal. And I don't know if you can see this, but um, when you push it down... It moves something that makes all these red little pieces go up. And when you put the keys in and you hit the key, it hits those red things. And I will show you it does have some stuff like a real piano come up. And also when you hit it, a Technic bar comes up. Where I can't really show you that right now, but it ha there's a color sensor in there, and when it sees red, it plays the right note in a part of the app. And I will show you the app now. So, first, you have to turn the motor on. You just put this out and just press the motor. And that turned on. So I'm just going to close the lid and go there. Now I will show you the phone, where you can get on the phone and the power up app. And there's two places. You can press listen or play. Now I'm going to do listen first, then I'll show you play. And to do this, you can just swap out the music it comes with for the phone here. And I'm just going to press listen. And before I put the keys in, I'm just going to show you the mechanism and how it works and how that part works. Now, there's 10 songs to choose from, and I'm going to do Play Day for the one that I'm going to show you now. Because I'm going to show you all of them in a app video, so stay tuned for that. And I'm just going to press Play Day. And... There's a button to press play, and then a button to reset all the keys, which I'll show you in a second. So now I'm going to press play. So when you play it, the music is coming from the phone, which I think it would have been very cool to maybe have a speaker in there, but I know that Lego probably couldn't have done that. And when you do that, the motor just turns all of these Technic pieces and that will hit the keys. So now I'm going to put the keys in and show you. So you can just slide the keys back in and it looks like the keys are playing. And then I can just put this back in. So it does just look um it looks like the keys are being played and played some music. You know, there is one more setting that I'm going to show you here. And um, I'll do that right after I show you something on this. Okay. So the song's done. And you might see that all the keys are just like in weird positions. 
And now a way to do that is you can press a different button here. And it just makes all the keys go back in place. And now to get to the other setting, you just press the back arrow. And go to play instead. Now I am hoping they'll upgrade the app and stuff and put more songs in here that you can play. And now this one there's only five. And I'll do happy birthday for the song that you can play. And I'll show the rest in the app video. Now with this one you're able to just press a key and it will play the right note because of the color sensor and when you press one it would show red on the color sensor page. So you can just press one key if you don't know how to play the piano to play the song or all the keys and you can just do it in Van Jam orders. And that's basically how that one works. So that's pretty much the app except for the songs that I haven't shown you. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the top of the piano. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the top. Now to get a better look in the top, I'm just going to move this down there and then move this here and move that like that. So um, in here, here are the things for when you push down on a key, one will go up and don't know if you see this, but um, when you press one this red thing is going up and that's what happens in the playable function that I just showed you that realizes you're playing the key. And what the pedal does is it just lifts all of these up, like a real pedal. And then these don't have it, and I'm pretty sure that's um, right in a grand piano that the ends don't have these. And then these are the strings. Um, there's just some different detailing. That's pretty much it, but... Um, the red, you know, I'm just going to take these off where they're connected to this. And then the red on the end just pushes this up that you can just put this on and it looks like um, it works. When you push one, it's done. And now the only problem with this is in the one, in the option on the app where you play it your where it plays it for you, these don't move up as much as they do when you play it. But that's not very much of a big deal. So now we're just going to look at the bench and maybe a few more things in the piano. Okay, Okay. so now I'm going to show you one more thing on the piano, then the bench, and then I'm going to say my final thoughts. So um, there is three legs on it that have wheels, like a real piano, and it's not like the best, and maybe these could have been gold, like um, I'm pretty sure most pianos have the gold little wheels, but they work pretty good, and then for the, for the um, bottom, most of it is a lot of different colors of tan, so it looks like wood is actually on the bottom and I don't want to flip this over because sometimes the legs will fall off if you put a lot of pressure on one but there's tan pieces and different colored tan pieces and stuff like that on the bottom to make it look like wood and there is to make um, the pedal work a big technic thing that just pushes a little thing in there that would make all these go up. So that's how that part works. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the bench. So the bench has the little legs and a bunch of Technic pieces on the bottom. And this is actually built after you build the piano. Unlike 
usual side builds where you build that first. Um, but to have a little feature in this where you just turn this and it has the um, seat go up. And it is a little strange that there's just one big little Technic rod thing coming there and nothing else. So it's kind of like there's hollow space, which looks pretty awkward. But I know they really couldn't have done a better job. So I'm still happy that that works. Um, but it would have been a little bit better if they could have made it so there's no empty space there. It's just more brick. But that would have been very hard. And then to lower it, you just turn this back down. And the seating work with the upside down, you know, round tiles looks pretty good. Now, um, the set, I think it's a great set if you have um, played piano before. And I have been playing piano for six years now. Um, so when this came out, I definitely wanted to get it. And that's why, you know, I built it. And um, I definitely think the build is hard if, you know, this is like your first Lego build. I definitely recommend you getting some easier sets before you build this. But um, I definitely think this is an awesome set with the functions and the, the keys and all that. And this is a Lego idea set. So a fan designer, Donnie Chen, which his name is actually written on this because um, he was the composer of the song Play Day, which is a song that you can play and make sounds from the app. And you have a little sheet that has the music on it. Um, he created this set. And it got 10,000 votes, so it became, Lego decided to make it a real set, and it just came out, you know? And I think it's definitely very good with it coming with the motors. So I definitely recommend this for if you play the piano in like Lego. I hope you enjoyed this review. Subscribe to not miss the Lego app video showing all the songs that you can play on this. And if you haven't seen this, I have an unboxing video on the Lego Grand Piano. Bye.